guys, it's me, Brittany, AKA Fine Apple Vegan, and I'm back with another video. Duh. So today, I'm making another Christmas favorite treat in my household. My children love it. Everybody knows, love it. It's really good. Um, it does have a lot of different names. How I grew up, I knew it as reindeer food. That's just what I knew. But apparently, some people call them Muddy Buddies, and some people call them Puppy Chow. So that's what we're making today, very easy. Honestly, I low-key didn't even need a video because it's that easy. You probably could have followed some instructions and did it, but I want to show y'all. Some people are visual, like me, and need to see it, so let's get started. So you will need peanut butter, a stick of butter. This is already a fat snack. Wow, you know, let your conscience just come in and try to tell you to be healthy now. It's too late, basically. Semi-sweet vegan chocolate chips, and it does say vegan chocolate chip. I love that it says that right there in the front, clear as day, you can see it. You will need some vanilla. Mm, vanilla. Powdered sugar. Now, I have two bags of powdered sugar only because I am using an entire box of Chex type rice cereal. It's not Chex brand. Like I told y'all, I'm not a big brand. You will also need pure maple syrup. I don't wanna add any more actual sugar to this, so I'm gonna use maple syrup. You can also use agave as well. My pan is already warm. It might be a little too warm, actually. Let me take it off. I'm not trying to boil my chocolate. I just want it to melt. So while we're waiting for that to cool off a little bit, I'm gonna talk about the fact that I'm not measuring anything, okay? You put in what you want, how much you want, but I'm gonna tell you that I did use an entire box of cereal, and I'm gonna use this entire bag of chocolate, and I'm probably gonna use about five tablespoons, maybe, we'll see. An entire stick of butter, and I'm just gonna pour the maple syrup in there. This is really good for like, if you wanna do goodie bags for your kids' school, Christmas parties, gatherings, or even gifts to give out, like, you know, big bag of pretty little cellophane bags with the ribbon on it. I think it would really be good just to have as a snack sometimes. It is really rich, though. So when you do have it, try to contain yourself. It's easy to eat a lot of these because they taste so good, okay? I'm just gonna put this entire stick of butter in here. Why are all these things so childproof? Move that around a little bit. And then I'm gonna put in the entire bag of chocolate chips. I'm just gonna put it all in there together. Now for our peanut butter. Honestly, it's just your preference, however much you want. Stop trying to be fancy, Brittany. All I'm gonna do is a whisk so I can be fancy. And show off for you too. And that's still melting, so let's go ahead and add in our vanilla. And now our syrup. Okay. Need a little more syrup though. I can still taste the bitterness. Like I said, you guys, you can do it however you want. We love peanut butter. I know what my family likes. So you do whatever your family likes or whatever you like, you know? There's no rules. It's a dessert for a reason. Perfect. So now we're gonna get our bowl of cereal and we're just gonna pour the chocolate and peanut butter mixture over the cereal. Talk about food porn, right? Yeah, I know you know what I'm talking about. I see you. <laughs> this is extremely, extremely satisfying to watch. Okay, we're just gonna mix it in really well. Try to coat all the cereal gently without breaking them up. You don't want a bunch of crumbs. So all we're gonna do now is get one of our bags. And I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. You're just gonna transfer half of it to one bag and the other half to the other bag. That's the wool. It's probably better to pour it, but since I made so much, um, I'm just gonna do it this way. I wanna leave some air in the bags. Don't squeeze all the air out. Leave some air in the bag and literally shake it around. I'm gonna have to maneuver it a little bit to make sure that the cereal splits up and separates. 
Okay, so now what I like to do, you don't have to do this, you can actually just put it in a bowl and eat it right away. But I like for all of it to set in. So what I like to do is put it on a pan with parchment paper. They're so pretty. I probably should have used a bigger pan, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I just want all of it to set in. And then you just split it up in sandwich bags or gift bags or however you want to split it up. You can put it in one airtight container. They freeze really well. You can keep them refrigerated for a while and snack on them. But I wouldn't recommend it because it's not super healthy. It's pretty fat. You see? Super yummy. That's fire. So yeah, you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you make this, let me know. I want to see it. I want to see what you thought. I want to know if you were actually able to stop eating them once you made them because they are delicious. Make them for your kids. You have to guard them because the little crumb snatchers. Don't trust them. Little people are sneaky. But yeah, you guys, that's it. That's how you make reindeer food or Muddy Buddies or puppy chow. That's how you make it. Pretty simple, direct, and bomb. Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear. Rudolph, my friend, now will you 